and I know that I can find an opportunity in five minutes. So I don't care who you are, as long as you have an open mind, right? I've switched my entire philosophy of I'm only looking for people with open minds. I know that I can utilize a template that I've created, an open-minded template, an open question template, and say, tell me about what you do. What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? And as he does, I'll be able to say, would it help you if I did this? providing value, creating a void for him to fill. Oh, would it help you if I do this? I know a babysitter. I, oh, you need a new bike? I know that. And then I have an open mind and I only have to ask him one question. Do you know anyone that could help me? If somebody has a closed mind, it's easy to tell by open-ended questions because they won't answer you. You'll know that you're bothering him. How are you doing today? Fine. What do you do? Nothing. What are you gonna order? I don't know. Those are closed minds. Run the fuck away. It'll take you a thousand times the effort and energy to transition the interest of a closed mind than it does an open one. You don't care what they do. There is no specific avatar anymore for your business. The only avatar I have is an open mind and then from there, I need to qualify them as two things. One, a sponsor. Are you willing to find someone that can help me? Or a power sponsor. You yourself can help me, which means usually that you're willing to find someone as well. Sponsors and power sponsors, over open mind, not the closed mind. And it's utilized with this simple template of learning the open-ended questions to listen, actively listen, so that you can figure out how you can be of service or value and create a void for them to fill. Because in the end, the bigger void that you can create by providing value and service to someone, the more apt they are to help you and follow through with that help.